I'm just going to press the letter Q to get out of the 3D paint tool. I'm going to go back into Hypershade. And actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and assign our layered texture now. So I'm going to go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. Our material or layered texture. I'm just going to drag it. And there we go. Even though it's white, don't worry about it. All right, in the Hypershade, I'm going to click on the tab up at the top that says Textures. I'm going to go ahead and select everything. So there's our alpha, well, it's not really alpha maps yet, but it's black and white images. And then our layered texture. I'm going to select all three of those. And at the very top, you'll see this bar, and there's a button that has an arrow going in and out. That is our input and output connections. So if we click that, it's going to show all the input-output connections for each of those materials that we created. I'm going to click on a black area just to deselect, because right now I've got stuff selected. If I uh, click on the black area, it will deselect them all. Okay, so I'm going to separate these out just so you can see this a little better. Let me zoom in, make this a little bit easier for you. All right, so this right here is our grass. There's our alpha grass material. And there's the 3D paint that we painted onto it. Here's our snow. And here's our layered texture that we created right there. All right. For these alphas, the only thing that we really want is the 3D paint image that we painted. So those things right there. All the rest of this, I'm just going to delete. So I'm just going to select these and just delete it with my delete button on my keyboard. Select these and delete. You can also hit the backspace uh, button on your keyboard to delete them. So now all I have is just these images. The material's gone. All we have is the image. So if we go back to our materials tab at the very top, I just clicked on materials tab, you'll see the only thing that we show up is our default Lambert 1 and our layer material that we created. So our two alpha uh, materials, the Lamberts, those are gone. All we have is just the textures that we created with the 3D paint tool. All right, now if you remember, I told you that everywhere that it's black, our, our texture won't show, and everywhere it's white, our, our texture will show up. Well, we painted these in reverse color. So what we need to do now is we need to reverse these colors. We need to make the black areas white and the white areas black. So over here in the left-hand column, I'm going to scroll down all the way till I see General Utilities. And then in that section, you'll see Reverse. I'm just going to click on Reverse Node. It puts the Reverse Node in our work area. I'll just go ahead and put this one next to our Grass Alpha image. I'm going to click on the Reverse button again over here on the left to create another one. I'll just go ahead and put that next to our Snow Alpha image. Okay, to connect those, I'm going to middle mouse drag our alpha image. So I'm just going to press and hold down the middle mouse button, and then drag my cursor over to the reverse node. I'm going to let go of the middle mouse button. A little pop-up menu will show, and you're going to click on the word input. And now it connects it to, those two are connected. We're going to do the same thing for our snow. I'm going to middle mouse drag it onto our reverse node and then I'm going to click on the word input from the menu that pops up. Okay, there's one thing else we need to do. Because we use this reverse node, we need to convert this to a grayscale image even though it looks grayscale. And to do that, over here on the left, we're going to scroll down to our color utilities and you'll see one called luminance. I'm going to click on luminance. I'll put that one up there create another one and I'll put this one down by our snow one. I'm going to connect this reverse node to our luminous node. I'm just going to middle mouse drag the, the reverse on top of our luminance. I want to let go. You'll see another uh, menu pop up. Just click on the word value and it connects those. Same thing down here. Middle mouse drag over to luminance and click on value. So now we're all set to go. So all we did was we just took our black and white image, we reversed the colors or inversed the colors, and then we converted it into a grayscale image.
We did that on both of these. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kind of shrink that down. Kind of zoom out. Let me bring these a little closer. All right, so we have our layered texture. I'm going to double click on our material, show our attributes. Actually, I'm going to do our layer texture. Double click on our layer texture, bring out those attributes. There's our three layers that we created, you remember? What we want to do now is we want to attach our alpha maps that we created into these colors. So let's start with the first one, our snow. If you look down here at the bottom, you'll see color, and then underneath that, you'll see alpha. One is 100% visible, zero is 0% visible. So if we wanted this layer to be invisible, we could change this alpha to zero. And now if you look at our texture sample, it's green. And it's because we're looking through our top layer now. It's invisible because we set the alpha to zero. If we set this alpha to, say, 0.5 or 50%, then if you look at our texture sample, it's kind of a light colored green. It's because this top layer, which is white, is only 50% visible. So it's kind of a light green. So that's what the alpha is. What we want to do is, instead of using this a zero, 0 to 1 value, we want to use our black and white image. So our anywhere it's white is going to be 1, anywhere it's black is going to be 0, and everything in between. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take, whoops, let me go back to our layered. I just clicked on our layer texture. I want to make sure this white is selected, which is our snow layer. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drag our snows luminance node, I'm going to middle mass drag and drop it onto this button that's to the far right of our alpha slider. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. I'm going to middle mouse drag the luminance for our snow over to the attribute editor where the alpha is. I'm going to put my cursor right on top of the button to the far right and when I let go of my mouse button it adds it to it. So now if you look at our texture sample, you'll see we have snow. Now we don't have our texture plugged in there, but since our color layer is white, you can see that our black and white image is telling Maya where this layer should be visible and where it should be invisible. So everywhere it's green is invisible. Alright, next I'm going to select the green layer, which is our grass layer. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take our grass black and white image. I'm going to middle mouse drag the luminous node over to the alpha, the button over to the far right where it says alpha. Drop that in there. If you look at our texture sample, it doesn't update. And the reason being is down here you'll see a blend mode. We need to put that over. We want that layer on top of our ground layer. And we want the snow layer on top of our grass layer. So on this first layer of snow, make sure the blend mode is set to over. If you change it to none, then you're not going to be able to see through it or anything. So we want it to be over. So now if you look at our texture, you'll see we have grass, we have our rock areas, and we have our snow. If we do a render, let's go ahead and close this out. Let's kind of zoom in here a little bit. Let's do a render. And you can see it's working just like we want it to. So basically the whole bottom layer is the brown. And then the next layer up, which is green, our alpha, that black and white image we created, is telling Maya to only show that layer in these places. And then everywhere else, make it invisible. And then on top of that layer is our snow layer, which is only visible over here on the top of our mountain. The only thing left to do now is add, replace these colors with textures.